Welcome to today's lesson on Triangles Review. Today we are going to review four different types of triangles. Scalene, right, isosceles, and equilateral triangles. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to begin today by reviewing the four basic kinds of triangles. Scalene, isosceles, equilateral, and right. Let's start with our scalene triangle. A scalene triangle has three side lengths that all have a different length and three angles that all have different measurements. So if we have side length A, B, and C, they are all going to have different measurements, which means side A is not equal to side B, which is not equal to side C. Our angles will also be different. Angle 1 will be different from angle 2 and angle 3. Let's look at an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two side lengths that are equal and two angles that are also equal. So if we once again have our side lengths A, B, and C, side lengths A and B are going to be equal to each other, but they're going to be different from that third side length C. Also, we're going to have two angles that are going to be the same and that third angle is going to be different. Let's move on to our equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle has all side lengths that are the same. So if we have side lengths A, B, and C, they are all going to be equal to each other. Now the fun thing with an equilateral triangle is that all angles will always be 60 degrees. That's because the sum of all angles in a triangle always equals 180 degrees. 180 degrees divided by three angles will always equal 60 degrees. A right triangle is a triangle that has one angle measuring 90 degrees exactly. You will often see that by seeing a square in the corner of the angle. And whenever you see a square that's written in the corner of an angle, it's showing that that angle has a measure of exactly 90 degrees. Let's practice what we've learned using the diagram on the screen. There are so many triangles that we have represented. Let's see if you can identify specific triangles. Let's go ahead and start with this triangle. This triangle has two side lengths that have the same length and two angles that have the same measurement. That's right, this is an isosceles triangle. Let's go ahead and try another. What is this triangle? It has three different side lengths and three angles with different measurements. Well done. That is a scalene triangle. Are you ready for another? What is this triangle? Well, look, we have a square in the corner. So that means that it has to be a 90 degree angle, which means it represents a right triangle. All right, this is a tricky one. What is this triangle? It has three different side lengths with three different angles. Great work, that is a scalene triangle. Let's go ahead and try one more. What is this triangle? This triangle has two side lengths that are the same and two angles that are also the same measurement. Great. That's an isosceles triangle. Well done. Did you notice that we were missing one type of triangle in our last diagram? Can you spot the missing triangle in this one? Let me give you a hint. I'm going to highlight part of this picture. Now can you identify the type of triangle? We have three sides that all have the same length and three angles that all have the same measurement. That's right. We call this an equilateral triangle. Let's try a riddle together. I have three sides. At least two of my sides measure the same length. One of my angles measures 60 degrees. What type of triangle am I? Let's go ahead and let's start by crossing out ones that we know we cannot have. So let's start with our first line. I have three sides, so we know we have a triangle. At least two of my sides measure the same length. 
Well, that crosses out a scalene triangle because a scalene triangle has to have all three sides different lengths. One of my angles measures 60 degrees. Well, if you have two sides that are the same length, that means you also have to have two angles that are the same length. And if two of your angles are 60 degrees, that means your third one has to be 60 degrees too to create an equilateral triangle. Let's try another problem together. We have three sides listed with their side lengths listed as well. What type of triangle will this create? I need to see a visual to help me with this, so I'm going to sketch out a triangle. Now remember, this is not drawn to scale. This is just to help me label my sides so that I can see what I'm looking at. I have sides A, B, and C. So I know the side A has a measurement of 3 feet, side B has a measurement of 2 feet, and side C has a measurement of 4 feet. So each side length has a different measurement. That means that this has to be a scalene triangle. Great job. Let's try another together. We have three different angle measurements on the screen, but we're missing one of our angles. Let's see if we can find out what it is. Remember, the sum of all three angles in a triangle will always equal 180 degrees. So if we subtract our two known angles, that will tell us our missing angle. 180 degrees minus 74 degrees equals 106 degrees. Then we subtract angle B, which is 53 degrees. 106 degrees minus 53 degrees equals 53 degrees. That means our missing angle C has a value of 53 degrees. And if we take this one step further and notice that two of our angles have the same measurement, then we know that this is an isosceles triangle. Let's take a moment to review what we've learned in today's lesson. A scalene triangle is a triangle that has all side lengths with a different measurement and all angles with a different measurement. An isosceles triangle has two side lengths that are equal and two angles that also have the same measurement. An equilateral triangle has all side lengths that have the same length and all angles are equal to 60 degrees because when we add the sum of all three angles in a triangle, it will always be 180 degrees. And lastly, a right triangle is a triangle that has a measurement of 90 degrees, which you often see marked with a square in the corner to represent 90 degrees.